uh, neck? What is it? What kind of confession to make? I'm terrible about figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but the trick Polly showed me was incredible. Was it a magic trick? Hmm. What kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. <laughs> First she put her white right thumb next to her left hand and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? How, how, how did you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a mortar. You take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, Let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica! The Great Prison Escape! It would be aired live! Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special! If I do this special before I'm acquitted, they never let me out of here for real. Well, it was only be an unnecessary addition to your troubles of the law. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. You don't get me out quick. I have no choice but to stay to real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business. Uh, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the wingmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the Susie clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie? Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at the circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? about what Max has said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweeties went to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told the story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. I'm sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I'm really sick of telling the story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica! I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a look at this! I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me! Let's look at that fabulous stage! It's the first stage I ever flew on! I flew right over the audience! The crowd erupted into applause! 
the time. I thought to myself that I could die right there and, and die a happy man. And I forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. <coughs> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too! Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you own a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? You hear that? Sounds like two people arguing. Hey, right, let's do it! Are you ready? Yes. Uh, uh w wait. Do your writing! Let's give, let's give this saw a shot already! Alright, let's go! Whoa, 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 your boat! Whoa, 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 your boat! What are you doing? Gently down the stream! Come on, you know that! I'm trying my best, but, Trillo, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday! Get in or something else to bust this! What are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trello. What are you doing here? Can you see what honest single crash train us? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Whoa! Yes, Trello wouldn't give up until I said we'll try after his idea for a new routine. So, we were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See? See? Even they are surprised by the idea! I told you! I'm not the only one. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we got a grip on the basics, then it's a matter of practice! You, you think so? Oh, I almost forgot! I want to give this back to you! Aha! There it is! I got the swing back! It's time to take one more shot at Regina! Uh, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. The still is walking out here, you white man. Huh? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? What do you think, Ben? What? Oh, uh, uh it w I would have thought it was the Wing Master. Someone guess it's the Adam here. I wonder who they really saw. I have something I could ask you about with Tina. I can be serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. If you really want to see with Tina, shouldn't you check out the tent? I haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? Wait a minute, this is part of being in love! How so? If you had a clue, you would know what it is such sweet, wonderful torture! When your buddy aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts! Uh, yeah, I, I know that. Oh, my so red, he looks like a vine ripe tomato. So, how is this new routine working out? Were you two just take a jump already? Our routine's a secret! We're going to take the ventriloquism one by storm! It'll be a real revolution! That sounds incredible! Let me make one thing clear! We're not giving to take on the wall just because that joke said we should! That John? Max Galactica! The bubble should aim for the wall! 
Who does he think he is? Jello, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage! You're right! You're right! Mark my words, I, Jello Chris, will win the Grand Prix! You're the man now, doll! Row, 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 you will be the key to our glorious victory! Uh, not to run on your boy, but we're in a more mature song be wise. Hey! You gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up! You gotta be a part of this too! It's you two! You look like you just got hit by a truck! Shouldn't you get some rest? <laughs> I'm taking rest right now, pal! I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story! This one Karma told me to come down here and do this for her! Yeah, I figured as much! Let me tell you something, pal! Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy! Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Uh, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? But Cisco really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal! You're not gonna get me to back by a woman with a whip! No way! Why are you defending her? Pasquita Von Kama's always got her eyes on her! Every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof! There she is! Don't show up! 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 Looks like she's wound him up, wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak! Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Behind the window up there. The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Van Kama's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? <sighs> For Francisca Von Karma. Once he's done the full investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. Let's see if that tiger, I don't want to find out! Let's hurry up and get out of here! <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 I'm just, uh, allergic to wild tigers! <laughs> oh, right! Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what time it is? Little time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Uh... Come on, you got you can answer this! It's easy! Guess cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? <laughs> Wrong! Try again! Okay, what do you think, golly? Ah, I got it! Okay, what's your answer? Because they are in the cafeteria! Cafeteria. Exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe! <laughs> I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. Ah, not this picture! He's turned to you guys too? Huh? You seen it as well? 
Well, you know what they say about Maximum and Galactica? You really get around! <laughs> oh yeah! He didn't just show me the picture! What do you mean? He showed me his bus too! Let me tell you, that thing is enormous! It's in the Pixar, I think! He'd make us worship it every day! He made us bow to his greatness! He's got a... big... bus? I don't mind hearing more about Max's bus. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me! I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah! It was a tough crowd! That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh! For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning, I had to smash watermelons! <sighs> I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing! I even used the fame, no shoes, no shirt, no service joke! Exactly! How can you not laugh at Stephen Comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw! I swear! That creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly fine per se! It was more like floating! The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max! I don't see a side clock. He must be telling the truth. Max is supposed to be on the small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh yeah! Hmm. When was it? I'd say about five days ago. All of a sudden, the bus disappeared! It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max has had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bus to me! So, as long as I'm not paying for it! Aww. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed that I can see! I wonder if he's actually thinking about this or if he's setting up a bad show. Nope! Nope, I'm drawing a blank here! Quite more is a good mo in my book. I guess there's really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there's this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us! Tell us! Well, on the morning of the crime over on that bulletin board, this piece of paper was most important center. Piece of paper? John, so I didn't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! It says, To the Murderer! Murderer? Yep, that's what it says! But the rest of it has been ripped off! And I don't know who posted it! When did you find this? The morning before the murder! Before the murder? Yes. The ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who the one posted this thing? Nick, I think we better follow up on this important lead. This note? The morning of the murder, it was put on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart suddenly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? 
I guess I wasn't willing to accompany you with just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster went to know, he turned an incredibly bright red. All of a sudden, he tore off the wand and stepped it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on the thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own! I'm sure you can find it somewhere. I also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. had to talk in this room. It could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that anyway? Was it really that cold or something? Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper stuffed into the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I got a feeling I know what that is. But that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. And that's how I up and check this thing out, Nick! I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece! What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Logic House Plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the motor took place. Now we need to find out who called out the Wingmaster. I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobats. Finally. But with Miss Von Karma. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound? Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of page or something. You know my pal. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick! See ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flat foot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The wind is... <laughs> Biting his glasses from a whip. Fun, fun, fun karma. See what he did appear. It was a real bad thing, quote, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. In the story of my defeat at your hands, making the national news? <laughs> national news? This is such a small sense of scale. The cool of news, Mr. Phoenix Wright, your miserable plight will be known internally! Internationally! This might be overestimating the importance of a witness by a smith. Huh? I heard you got your hands on something big, huh? <laughs> I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could! You couldn't hide the look of victory with ten paper bags on your head! I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness! Need 
need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must be the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the fire nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I'm not trying to find out more information myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad? He must be the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course you're dead! I know you miss him! Enough out of you! One more word and you'll get a mouthful of wet! Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this? Or any other conversation? Then, what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wanna understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. Him? So you know who to whom I will fall. Miles Edgeworth! What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M M M Miles e Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? You know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. With my papa. That means that Edgeworth was right again. Miles is like a little brother to me. Huh? A little brother. And Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix White? I... Nick! What does he mean? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then, the case after that one... set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor! You effectively killed the prosecutor and him! Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma! I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. N Nick! Uh, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again. Okay? Nick? It's my karma. What? I don't know if you are God's gift to prosecutors or not. But I've had enough of you. Him too! What happened? This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest cold battle this country has ever seen! Nick? That's 
go. You suck the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, man. 